Amazon.com, a website that almost everyone with a computer or smartphone uses on a daily basis. But how did it come about? How disruptive is it to our environment? And what's the future for this website? Amazon started off in 1994 when Jeff Bezos, a former Wall Street hedge fund executive, created a website that sold books online. He had seen that after four years of the first internet browser being created, internet users were up to 36 million. To give you an idea, by 2012, more than 1.7 billion people used the internet. He concluded that selling books would be the most logical product to sell online at the time. However, Bezos wanted to make sure that his site wasn't just a retailer of consumer products, but a site that simplified online transactions for consumers. Once stores like Borders and Barnes & Noble started selling books online, many people seemed to think that Amazon would go out of business. However, Bezos didn't give up and believed that no one understood the massive growth potential of the internet. Within one year of operation, Amazon had 180,000 customer accounts, and by the next year, their accounts jumped up to 1 million. Not only did their customer accounts increase, but their revenue flew from 15.7 million to 148 million to 610 million in three years. Their business strategy was different than any other retailer, and by 1998, Amazon started selling music and videos to increase their consumer accounts. Within less than 10 years after that, the Amazon Kindle was released, leading to a huge surge in ebook sales. The Kindle changed the way people read, and competing devices started to come out, including the Nook and iPad. However, when Amazon.com started selling these devices as well, they quickly took business away from stores as well as online retailers, making it a disruptive technology. Disruptive technology is defined as a technology that displaces a current one, changing the market and creating a new industry. These kinds of technologies affect the way a business thrives, which is exactly what Amazon.com has done. Amazon has produced a new nature of disruption, according to Vivek Wadha, a writer for Market Watch. He says, first it was bookstores, publishing and distribution, then cleaning supplies, electronics, and assorted home goods. Now, Amazon is set to dominate all forms of retail, as well as cloud services, electronic gadgetry, and small business lending, as well as its acquisition of Whole Foods, which can literally break the barriers between digital and physical rooms. This shows how much of a disruptive technology Amazon.com has become in our world. Clayton Christensen, the author of A Management Guide, The Innovator's Dilemma, says that disruptions don't happen within an industry, rather where you would least expect them to. When this type of disruption happens within a technology, the incumbents aren't ready and are often in denial about the new change. However, Amazon.com has continued to disrupt current technology with the new innovations and change to their website. Once Amazon opened its doors to the public on the stock market, they raised $54 million on the NASDAQ market within two years. Mark Hall writes that although offering more types of goods broadened its appeal, it was Amazon.com's service that gained its customer loyalty and ultimate profitability. It's no question that Amazon is very involved with their customers, whether it is recommended products based off of previous purchases or the customer reviews that form a community of consumers, their customer service is number one. As well as if a product isn't what you expected or there was just a problem, their over-the-phone service and guarantee protection is always there to help. From just selling books to now almost every retail item, technology systems, as well as buying out Whole Foods for an online grocery store, Amazon.com has come a long way with their technological advancements. Not only do they offer free two-day shipping for members, but as well as a 50% discount for students and the option to pay for two-hour delivery for certain products. Amazon.com has created a type of disruptive technology that is constantly evolving with the needs of our world. I use Amazon almost every day, whether it is buying groceries, ordering food in bulk, 
household appliances, or even just a new phone case, I can always find a need to use this website. However, I usually use the app because it is so handy and can be easy, easily accessed on my phone. The simplicity that Amazon offers is incredible and it makes shopping so much easier, especially for me as a college student. Amazon is extremely accessible, which makes it perfect for almost every user, young or old. Being a college student and not having access to a car at all times is rough and when I'm in need of a certain product, it is even harder. However, with Amazon, I can order something and have it shipped for free within two days. I don't need to worry about finding a time to grocery shop when I can order everything online and have it shipped to my door. There is an infinite amount of use that Amazon has for me. On the app, I can look at today's deals, order some protein bars, as well as look at customer reviews. I'm able to check out and place the order within seconds. I can also see what I've bought before and if I need to buy it again, what other customers bought that have also purchased Quest Bars, and my most recently viewed items. When writing this assignment, I tried to think of something that has actually changed the way I go about my daily life. Amazon.com has changed how I shop and has made my life easier when it comes to ordering products. When I want to buy a certain item, the shipping tends to be extremely expensive depending on the item and has a delivery rate of five to seven business days on most, if not on all, online stores. Amazon.com provides Prime members with free two-day shipping at the cost of a $99 a year membership. And when you order as many times as my family and I do, it's definitely worth it. Amazon.com has been around for almost 25 years and has dramatically increased the profits, customers, and products sold. The effect that Amazon has on users is astounding. Last year, there were 300 million Amazon users registered. Not only are people continuing to sign up for this website, but according to business statistics, 80% of users purchase from Amazon at least once a month. And remember Black Friday and the hype that it has throughout all of the United States? Well, with Amazon.com, Cyber Monday beats any physical store on Black Friday. Cyber Monday is Amazon's biggest shopping day ever, with typically 140 million orders placed. Just from these statistics, you can see how large of an effect Amazon has on users all across the nation. Amazon.com now has 15 separate websites for different countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, Ireland, France, Canada, Germany, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, Australia, Brazil, Japan, China, India, and Mexico. It's just a matter of time to see where the next website will pop up. So what's happening in the future with Amazon.com? Well, just as recent as January, Amazon opened a new type of convenience store in Seattle called Amazon Go. At this store, there are no checkouts and no cashiers. Instead, customers walk in, scan their phones, pick what they want off the shelves, and walk out the door. The machines that are inside of Amazon Go can sense which customer is picking what item off of a shelf. Once you walk out the door, a receipt for the products you bought pop up on your phone within minutes. This type of system is extremely disruptive towards grocery stores. Larry Elliott from The Guardian says technological change is happening fast and it has economic, social, and ethical ramifications. He also states how change is always disruptive in any technological advancement. However, the change of robots and machines taking the place of day-to-day -day jobs such as grocery stores, retail, stores, and even driverless cars will be especially marked. As much as these new advancements can benefit consumers, it puts many people out of jobs. Amazon has hired many robotic employees, as well as automation, to help with the growth of the company. With the continuing of bringing in robots, the employment rate at Amazon and related retail companies will still decline by a net 24,000 jobs. Amazon has nearly doubled the total of their robotic workers to 55,000 by the end of 2017, since July. 
Since Amazon.com is based online and uses factories to distribute their products, their need for labor workers dramatically decreases. According to Humans Need Not Apply, robots are here and there are a terrifying amount of working automation in labs and factories around the world. The video also mentions how hundreds of jobs that were considered new for humans, over half of them are now an easy target for automation. With the Great Depression racking up an employment rate of 25%, the list of jobs that can be replaced by robots shoots up to 45%. Automation is inevitable, so where will Amazon.com be in a few years? How many jobs will still be occupied by humans in their factories? Amazon.com started off as an online bookstore in 1994. Within 25 years, it has become at the top of the list of e-commerce sales of U.S. retailers selling books, groceries, technology, and just about any item you can think of. Its effect on my life and users across the world is astounding. Amazon.com has changed the way most people shop and continues to change how we go about our daily lives. With this disruptive technology, we are constantly given new options at Amazon that take away business from physical as well as online stores. Its quick and easy checkout, amazing customer service, as well as a high stock puts Amazon.com at the top of the list. While Amazon is great for all users, it is a question to see how new disruptive changes in technology will change the number of Amazon employees today. It will be an interesting journey to see how disruptive technology will affect Amazon's economy, our society, as well as the future.